hi everyone, this is Aaron. Um, okay, it's Wednesday today and it's midnight. I think I have a name for this like live video series that I wanna do. I think I'm gonna call it Musicoon Midnight. Um, I don't know, because I started doing these at midnight and I like alliteration. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna call this series for now. Musicoon Midnight. It's like a late night talk show, except there are no guests. It's just me and I don't do any games and don't have any funny stories to tell. It's just me. So thanks for watching the second episode of Musicoon Midnight. Um, today I wanted to talk about, actually first I want to remind everybody why I'm doing this, or maybe I want to remind myself why I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this because I want to improve my public speaking. I feel that my public speaking can be a lot better. Notice I say a lot of ums. I have a lot of other vocal tics. Um, sometimes I talk too fast and I rush my words. So I wanna be a little bit clearer and just improve my speaking. The second thing is that I wanna be more comfortable in front of a camera. I don't want to be awkward and I'm trying to practice that so I can get better and things won't be awkward in front of a camera if I ever need to do something like this in my life. Um, I think people are talented and there are people with natural talent who are able to do stuff like this, but for me it does not come naturally, so I wanna practice it and hopefully turn it into like a, a skill that I actually worked on. Um, and the third reason is just to have fun doing something new, trying to be creative in a space where I have not been before. Um, I guess today I wanna to talk about uh, three creative projects I recently did. The first one was um, the Sound Words podcast. I just released an episode with my friend Leslie. Um, Sound Words is a podcast that I do where I interview worship leaders. And so um, you can just search for it, Sound Words. But what I learned from this interview is that like, I do a lot of stuff with church people or with the people that go to my church. FCBC Walnuts. And so to do something with somebody outside of my church circle was um, a little bit more difficult because, you know, you we don't have that common thing to talk about. But because Leslie's my friend and she's also a worship leader, there's always common ground to talk about with, with just that. And so um, I'm thankful for Leslie for doing it with me. And um, I encourage you to listen to it and give me some feedback to see how, how I can improve. <clears throat> Um, the second thing that I did was I released another podcast episode um, officially with FCBC Walnut on the Walnut Commentary podcast. And um, that was a live recording I did with Pastor Hanley and his wife, Meryl. Um, that was recorded in my 11th grade Sunday school class. And um, I just used that recording for the official church podcast feed. Um, what I liked about that one and what I think I learned is that it is possible for me to do live stuff. Um, in that case, I wasn't like the, the subject, you know, I was like interviewing Hanley and Merrill. And so that was a lot of fun. Um, I hope to find other ways I can repurpose live things, um, either for church or for my own blog content. And um, yeah, hopefully just have some fun and be able to find more ways to um, uh, repurpose things, I guess, yeah. Um, to be more creative in reusing things without um, being boring, but just recycling them for for um, spreading uh, via other channels. And I guess the third thing that I did today was I went um, live on the church Instagram account with uh, my friend Ray. And so with Ray, we talked about um, the Lakers and Kobe Bryant and the current state of the Lakers. And um, we also talked a lot about worship leading. Um, so you can give that a listen. Oh, we talked about um, what, it's life, what it's like for him to be married to his wife, Tiff, who's a teacher. And so, um, yeah, you can give that a listen over on the church Instagram, um, FCBC Walnut. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. But I think for that, what I learned is that people do enjoy live content. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully with this Musicoon Midnight series, 
I can work on doing more live things. Um, I brought back my trusty melodica. I got another song for you. Let's see if you can get this one before I finish. Was a little bit harder or maybe i messed it up again that was um haters gonna hate by taylor swift it's not called haters gonna hate it's called um that's gonna be all right what's that song called anyways remind me what the song is called in the comments thanks for listening and um joining me on music goon midnight speaking of taylor swift um i just listened to her new song me i just heard it right now um, I thought it was all right. I think it needs to grow on me a little bit more. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward pop song. Although I do like the fact that she got, uh, Brendan from Panic at the Disco, uh, as a second vocal. I think it adds a lot. And, um, I, I, I like his vocals. He's great. Give it a listen. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me know how I can improve this, um, Music Good Midnight series. Thanks. See you soon.